Well, hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. I had a request for this repair here, and what it is is the transom clamp that holds the outboard to your boat. Um, I've had a couple requests where people wanted to know when these things get all stuck up and corroded uh, to the point to where you break them off or whatever. You can see this one's all broke. It's got the white, white yuck everywhere. Um, well, this is how I do it um, when they're this bad. This one's not going to come out. I've already tried the heat and stuff with the torch, and it's just crumbling. It's just falling off. You can see all the white yuck in there. So when they get this bad, this is how I do it. I've got eye protection on and everything. I take a die grinder. This one's a straight one. You could use an angle grinder. And I grind this off, and I leave about a quarter inch or so sticking out. I get that done I take a center punch and a tap it hammer and I try and get center on this thing as best you can and uh, that looks pretty good right there wow give it a whack all right then I take my drill try and get a drill with variable speed this the variable speed on this one don't work that good anymore but drill it out straight through Change drill bit to a bigger size. Repeat. again. What I'm doing there is measuring, make sure I get all the way through. It's important that you get all the way through that. I'm 
not using a chuck. Hopefully you got a better drill than I do. <laughs> this will come out of there. Drill bit's been a pain. Doing my bash grips. this last drill bit I'll probably have to chuck it so we'll try that but when you're uh, doing this just take your time because you got to you got to get in that that old one fairly straight so make sure you use the punch and this will be the last drill bit pretty dull, but it'll go. I hope. Let's see, let's try that again. Come on. Maybe it won't. Looking pretty good, actually. It's about what I want. Oops. All right. Keep on. I'm through there enough and now what I want to do is take this punch this let me make sure you, you guys are in the picture okay then I'm gonna take this punch and if you can see it's got a like a screwdriver like edge on it and a tap it hammer I don't know how this is going to work. I'm probably going to have to move the camera. Okay. Kind of move things around here. Hopefully you can see it there. Anyway, what I did was I took this last drill bit. I remember I left about a half an inch or so, quarter inch or so sticking out of here. I took this last drill bit and uh, drilled it through there. And this drill bit right here is 17 30 seconds. And on this motor, hopefully you can see that information. On this, this motor here, all the way up to 35 horse, just about, um, they use this size. Basically, it's a 5 8 inch, um, quarter 20, 5 8 inch bolt. You could use that instead of a clamp if you wanted to. But it's a, a number 11 national core thread. And this last drill bit I used was 17 30 seconds. All right. And so then I left that little piece sticking out of there. And the reason why is I want to be able to tap that now. I've drilled through 
And so now I just start banging and, and going toward the center where the meat of this thing was. There, there it goes. It's starting to move right there. All right. Then I made this. It's just an old screwdriver. And I welded, um, I think it was 7 16 cent socket. That's the size of the bolt on the back of here. Now you come back from back here and get a hold of that. The only reason I made this is it allows me to fit back in here better than a ratchet. And it gives me a little more torque. So you come back in here now and start moving that. And you can see that's really loose in there now. And uh, you tap it some more if you need to. All right. And there she is out of there. And those threads in there, I don't, I'm going to move the camera for a second. You can see, hopefully, let me get a flashlight. Those threads are still pretty good in there by doing it that way. Hopefully you can see that in there. But what I do is I take this device here and it's got the number 11 national course tap in there. And I go ahead and clean it up with that. I think you're in there. All right, so we go ahead and start that in there nice and Great. I'm going to clean that up. And put it all the way through. And as you can see, I got pretty straight. There's a little shavings coming out down here, but not a lot. Okay. Go all the way through. Now let's take this out. Okay. Now she's all cleaned up. Okay. Good there. Then we're going to take and get some anti seize or whatever grease you prefer, and we're going to put that in there. All right, and then we're going to take the new one, which in this case came off an old used motor, and we're going to paint that up with some nice anti seize. Get that started. And that is how I do it on these old ones. So now you've got a nice, loose clamp. The clamp's good. The threads are still pretty good. Um, be a little careful when you're drilling it, especially with the, that last bit. It's got a lot of grip on it. You can see your drill can get away from you like it almost did on me. But this makes a pretty good repair, and you don't destroy any of this stuff. And all i got to do is screw the, take this off the rest of the way and screw it on this one, and she'll be good to go. So that's how I do that. There might be a better way, but that's how I do it. Thanks for watching.